Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna review the Cycrown Psych Knight foldable fat tire e-bike. This is one of my favorite e-bikes I've ever had. Foldable design so you can stick it in your SUVs or large sedans. It has a comfortable handlebar, comfortable seat, dual suspension. Guys, look at this. A suspension in the back on a folding e-bike. I've never seen it. Guys, we're gonna go over all the features in today's video. Take it for a ride. Let's go. All right, let's take this thing for a ride. First thing I noticed right off the bat, comfortable, unbelievably comfortable, favorite e-bike for comfort that I've ever ridden. And it's a foldable e-bike, which is crazy. So uh, I'm here on uh, pedal assist level one. So I am fully throttled. It's giving me 9.6 miles per hour. Now that is the first level of pedal assist. So let's go up one level and I'll go ahead and crank it and see what we get. Now I'm not pedaling at all at this point. I am just simply, throttling i'm getting 10.9 so 10.0 oh, 11 so 11 on level two we're gonna go level three now i'm starting to feel some torque and we're getting 13.4 13.5 six okay now it's starting to go up four now i'm cranking up to 16 17 let's go five now i'm flying so i set this down to factory uh, settings because I did unlock this e-bike and I wanted to make sure that you saw what you get out of the bike whether it's unlocked or not as far as the speed it is regulated at 20 miles per hour which I think is per perfectly fast as you can see I'm just flying on this road right now let's make this turn nice comfortable turn I was going about 15 miles an hour around that corner very comfortable so I'm going 20 I'm going up a hill still getting 20 so it has the power to to go much much faster in fact e-bikes like this with this kind of power you can usually get around 40 miles an hour with unlocking the speed limiter on these things unlocking speed limiters is the way to go if you want to go faster but if kids are riding this you have your children riding it I highly would I would highly encourage you not to do that because it is for your safety guys speed limiters are there for your safety making this corner really smooth easy ride a couple things about the panel here you got your horn funny horn you got the headlight right here uh, as I mentioned before you've got your different speed levels there really bright display I don't know if you can see it very good in the video but it's a bright display I like that the handlebars are so high too it's just a comfortable ride get your gear shifters right over here um, then you got your brakes and the throttle as I mentioned before is just a half throttle like that. Let's go ahead and make this stop at the stop sign. Make sure no cars are coming. Safety first, guys. Safety first. Also encourage you to wear a helmet. No doubt about it. All right, we're good to go. It's a beautiful day to ride. Cool thing about this bike is it is rated, so you can. If it does rain, you don't have to worry about it getting damaged. I wouldn't leave it out in the rain, but it definitely is weather resistant by having the battery enclosed into the frame. That's something to think about. A lot of people don't think about. All right, so I'm going on a little bit of a hill here. I only have about maybe 40, 50% battery life left on this thing. It's actually dropping significantly at full throttle up a hill down to 27. So it actually will change and adjust based off of the power usage that you're using. So now I'm up to 32% battery. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna charge this thing up so I get a full charge. I don't like my batteries on my e-bikes to run this low. So that's something to consider. Uh, make sure your e-bikes are charged all the way. So we're gonna head back. I'm gonna go over some of the features of this thing and I'm gonna give it a overall grade. Guys, I think you're gonna be surprised by this grade. I hope you enjoyed the riding scenes on this. I wanted to give you a close up look of what it's like to ride this thing. But there's nothing better than just getting on it and feeling it yourself, guys. Super comfortable. Dual suspension makes a huge difference. And to find it on an e-bike, a foldable e-bike, for under $1,000, it's even less than that with my link in the description section of this video. So I did negotiate that discount. But it's very affordable. There's a couple cool things about this. Yes, it is a foldable design. So let me just show you really quick. You just open it up like that. There's a little handle here, which I love. You rarely see handles on uh, foldable e-bikes and you just fold it right in half and the cool thing about it 
is you can stick this in because it folds so small down. In fact, even the handlebars fold down. So you could fold these things down and it just gets so small that you can stick this in. I could stick it in my Jeep. I know a lot of people could put these in their small SUVs. Um, even sedans I've seen with larger trunks can fit these in it, which I think is great. In my SUV, I was able to put two folding e-bikes, hit those trails. It was really cool to be able to do that. Normally, you need a bike rack. You need all kinds, and these are heavy. So it's really hard to do that, to get a bike rack that can handle the weight on your tail. So let me just show you some of the features of the handlebars because this thing has some really cool features. Um, not just the suspension, but the comfortable tires, the comfortable seat, the really big display. There's some cool features I want to show you. So let's get a little bit closer look on the handlebars. All right, close view on the handlebars here, guys. Now, I, I haven't even taken the plastic off this thing. It's so brand new. Uh, but I've ridden it for about five miles, because I six miles, because I really wanted to get a good feel for it. So this is what the display looks like. Hopefully, you can see it on the screen okay. And then you've got levels. So we've got up to five pedal assist levels. Now, that will show your speed. Your battery life is there, which I love that it has a number. Sometimes it's just bars or dots. To have an actual number is great. And just to put it in perspective compared to my hand, it's a pretty big display. On the left side here, you do have your horn. You do have headlights, so it's got a real headlight, not just your normal reflector. So you can ride this at night safely. It does have a reflector as well, of course. And then over here, you've got your different modes. You also have your up and down on your deal. Now this right here is your power buttons. That's how you turn it on, just by holding it down. Over here, you've got your keys. This is one set of keys. I have the other set of keys already on the bike because this bike does need to have the key in it and turned to operate. Not all e-bikes are that way. So that is a safety feature that I really like. It does have your gear shifter up here. It is a Shimano seven speed shifter. You've got brakes both back and your front ones. And then over here, you have your throttle now this is a half throttle so you don't have the whole handlebar just this little bit right here makes for more comfort a safer ride by doing this is it what that. you call a rear hub motor so your motor is going to be right down here it's a 500 watt motor so that's going to get that power that you want to get up those hills which i really like a 500 watt motor for an e-bike a foldable e-bike is pretty incredible and as i mentioned it does have your shocks right there now this is a rear uh, mono shock here so it attaches directly to the frame right here in your seat so you're going to get that extra good comfort it also has a powered backlight right here which is great for brakes and in addition to this right here you'll notice that there are I don't know if you can see in the camera or not but there's actually shocks within the seat as well so you've got the coil shocks here you've got the official one right here I mean this thing is extremely comfortable and it folds down really small what's cool about folding down so small is, is even the pedals fold down check this out the pedals, all you have to do is simply just push it up and up, and that just gives it, makes it much more compact. I think that's a really cool feature as well. And finally, I just wanted to share, this is where the front shocks are. Now it is a dual front, which is awesome, and your official headlight. Now the build on this thing took a total of about 20 minutes only. It was really simple to install. You just put, there's literally a little hook thing that you put in, you put the front tire on, Really, that was it. I put the pedals on, which you just screw on. It was a really simple build. Now, just a recap on this e-bike on some of the specs. I know people are going to ask about 500 watt motor, really powerful for a foldable e-bike. Going to get you up those hills on the trails, no problem. All weather conditions because you do have the fat tires. Again, it's four inches wide, 20 inches around. Got lots of torque. As far as the suspension, again, front and back, it's got dual front and then the mono suspension in the back and a suspension seat with a really comfortable seat to begin with. The battery itself is housed inside of the frame, so it's completely hidden, which is awesome. It is removable. However, most of the time you're going to keep it inside the, the bike and you can charge it directly without removing your battery, which I like as well. Now everybody always asks, what's the speed? What's the top speed on this thing? Well, with any e-bike, they are regulated by class. And so this one here goes 20 miles an hour. It does come with two sets of keys. One set of key I always keep as a backup. I, I typically would not keep it attached to the bike like this. I just did for this video so you could see that it does come with two keys. The other one's gonna be right underneath. All right, guys, it's time for the fun stuff. It's the grading time. I do a CPV. I do comfort, performance, and value, and then I give an overall grade on all my e-bikes. So this e-bike here, again, this is the Psych Crown Psych Knight. It pops. It's a great looking e-bike, but we're gonna talk comfort. Comfort, I give this thing a 9.7. 
that's the highest comfort grade I've ever given an e-bike. And again, the reason why, you don't, it's, it's unexpected. You don't expect it to be as comfortable as it is with having all the, of this suspension and then the ability to fold it up, pretty cool. So it has the fat tires. You're gonna get comfort just because of that. It has both suspensions and a suspension seat and a padded seat. Guys, 9.7. It's hard to get higher. I've never found one higher. I don't give 10s out, so 9.7 is the highest I've ever given for comfort. So 9.7 comfort on this one. Second one is performance. Performance on this thing is good, not as good as a non-foldable design on some e-bikes I've done, but that doesn't mean that it's not good. It's got a 500 watt motor, so you're gonna get lots of power. It's got a 48 mile range, which is incredible for a folding e-bike. Now. If you compare this to some other e-bikes I've done where you get 100 miles or 200 mile range, you can't compare it. This thing is a little bit heavier. It's a heavier foldable bike. So performance wise, I give it an 8.6, which is a really respectable score, honestly, on any e-bike to be able to get that. And I think it's because of the larger battery and the larger motor for a foldable e-bike. You're gonna get higher performance automatically. And finally, we're gonna talk about value. Value is really important because that really determines the value of a bike. Because there's some bikes that are $2,000 bikes that really aren't worth $2,000 in my opinion. And there's $500 ones that have cheap components and it just doesn't perform well. This thing right here, I give a 9.2 on value, which is one of the highest scores I think I've ever given on an e-bike on value. Why is that? Because it has high quality components on your e-bike. It has a really cool foldable design, which is also a fat tire e-bike. All the suspensions I talked about, really powerful motor, long range battery. It touches on everything and under a thousand dollars, it's really an incredible deal. And I actually bumped up the score because they came to me and said, we're gonna give a lower price to your viewers with a discount code. So I put that in the description section of this video, guys. So if you do want the lower price, click my link in the description of this video. I will also put a link down in the comments section as well and a QR code in the corner just to make it easier for you. I wanna make sure everybody that watches this that wants to get this gets the best of value. Now overall score 9.4, highest score I've ever given on e-bike. Love this e-bike, it's the Psych Knight. Guys, if you like this video and you wanna see more, make sure you check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, hit the thumbs up if you like this one right here. I love doing these videos, I wanna do more, I wanna do them for you. Thank you so much, bye.